uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Sabine as our speaker today. And she will be uh, presenting a speech on researching and presenting. And the purpose of the project is to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. And the uh, title of her speech is A Return to the Office of Forever Remote, IT Team Challenges and Solutions. And the length of the speech is five to seven minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Quick question, should I uh, talk about the Mexican food before I get started? Yes, please okay. do. Okay. Yeah, because I, okay. Uh, I love Mexican food, I think, but uh, as an example of a huge um, exemplar, uh, hot exemplary uh, fan of Mexican food, I think my husband has been doing a great job. He always, uh, demand Mexican food no matter Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So we have been doing like a taco night, either a lot taco night at night. I think my favorite food, I think still taco. I don't know why. I just, and I like a corn. Those like tasty so good. And unfortunately, my two kids cannot eat the seafood. So I think a fishy taco will be wonderful for them. Um, yeah. And yeah, so every Friday we take out some food. And we don't have to ask my husband because his answers always be, let's find the Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. At least it's a, a family pleasing meal. It sounds like everybody likes it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm going to just start the uh, timer myself too. I like to do that. So I have, sorry. I can share my screen. Can everything is my screen okay? Yes, good. Perfect. Let me see this stuff. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming today. I will be delivering my third speech research project. When I try to decide what topic I should talk today, um, I thought I should choose something can be relevant to your life, my life and my new work. So I could get some research done and talk about, and you love the idea and also get some research for my work as well. Um, before I get started, let me ask some questions. So how, can you raise your hand if in the past 18 months, you sent a ticket to your IT team, either about your software or about your hardware? Let me take a look at your face. Yes, okay. Second question, in the past 18 months, so the reason why I talk about 18 months because the pandemic has been 18 months. In the past 18 months, any of you switch your department, change your title, or get promoted in your company? Can you raise your hand? Great, wow, I hope it's promotion. Last question, any of you uh, switch your job, you left your old company, you joined a new company, or you decided, yeah, I'm not gonna work, I'm gonna just enjoy my life, I quit. Okay. So I think, thank you for your participation. I saw over 80% of you raise your hand. So today I wanna share, of, wanna share with you one of my personal story about how I interact with my IT, my experience, and then I can dive into the challenge I've been seeing in the IT team. So I left my previous company three months ago, but I was holding my previous company's laptop for over two months. I kept sending them email, my IT team and uh, my people team said, hey, you, you know, I'm still having my laptop. Uh, where can I drop, drop off? You know, everybody's working remotely nowadays and IT team, of course, the, the same thing. So they respond to me after a week and they say, oh, we sent your FedEx box and it seemed like it's lost. And then we will send you another one. 
and while waiting, waiting another two weeks, I finally received my FedEx box. And I was, the day I was so excited, okay, now I can drop off. I was driving my car to LinkedIn, um, the, uh, Rockland, um, because there is a FedEx center. I was listening to the podcast in my car. My current CEO was interviewed with one of our customer, VP of IT, talk about what's the challenge um, there. So the IT, uh, the VP of IT had been talking about a lot, uh, talked about how this has been very difficult time for IT team because a lot of rehiring coming, a lot of um, resigning nation, people just quit their job. And then there's a lot of people change their locations. So add a lot ticket, a lot workload for IT team. However, IT team, the number of IT team have not increased yet. So it's like three people's team has been doing like six people team's job. In terms of today, I would love just uh, talk about uh, what I've done for my research, what's the top three challenges I've been seeing in the IT team and what's the solution my current company uh, can provide. I wanna connect the dot. Next page. Oh, sorry. Good. What's this? Yeah. Challenge one, ensuring an equitable experience for all employees regardless of locations. Earlier this year, CNBC report and report 31% of young adults relocate permanently or for extended period of time during the pandemic past 18 months. And as you know, IT team has been suddenly asked, okay, we need to create a world class experience for every single employee, no matter where they are, especially for new hiring. They are not no longer come to the office for the onboarding. So I think the solution here is how could we create the great experience for people on board or people off board or for people mid life change, promotion, what, et cetera. So my company provides kind of automation solution. You can automate all onboarding and offboarding process. Make sure your new employee gets right to right permission, right group, sign in the right Slack channel. You are not in the executive level the group yeah if you are not so i think that's the something we can overcome the first challenge and for the second challenge minimize risk of shadow it in hybrid work some of you might ask you uh, ask me what is the shadow it actually shadow it is when you purchase any software without asking it permission so a report by garner recently told us worldwide public cloud user gonna, the spending gonna grow 23% in 2021. So you will see a lot of unsectioned third party application gonna happen in the IT environment. So my company could provide some solution, give you, give IT admin like more visibility uh, into their IT environment, how many application in their space and uh, what are un unction, unsectioned what are sectioned application and they will get alert automatically. And channel use three, define the right balance between collaboration and the fire security. I know all of you use Google, Google Drive, you share your document all the time. And some research show average organization share document like over 800 action with X with 800 external domain, that's a lot and a lot of risk. If any document include any social security number, banking number, you should not share with external domain. So my company offered a uh, solution. We can do the file scaling and cap capture all the sensitive data and send an alert to the user, sender and the ID admin, give them a uh, notification. Here, there's a file, file you, should not be, you should not share with external user. As I said, all in all, I think during those uncertainty time, automation will be the key for IT team. They can really increase their efficiency, reduce the risk, and also I think to free up some free time. Oh, sorry, free up some IT team's time so they can really focus on a strategic test to really be a true partner with the organization. Thank you.